सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल ओपन जियोलॉजी फाइनली आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर विद वीडियो एंड हेयर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द मेल्टिंग एंड क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ऑफ रॉक्स सो वी ऑल नो अबाउट द रॉक साइकिल इन विच इग्नियस सेडिमेंट्री एंड मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक्स ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री आर इन कन्वर्जन विद ईच अदर सो एनी वन रॉक कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू दर वन सो वेन मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक इज इन वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर it is going to be melted and produce a melt that is known as your magma or lava so it is melting and when this lava comes to the surface or near to the surface it crystallizes into the solid crystals that is known as your crystallization so we will see about the two models of melting and crystallization and also how the associated numericals can be found with the help of these models and and this uh, crystallization and melting so two terms uh, you probably know one is one is equilibrium okay and another is fractional so what happens is in equilibrium equilibrium means the two things which are always in contact and always in uh, a reaction so you can say in equilibrium like solid plus liquid both are in contact while in fractional or you can say fractional crystallization or fractional melting solid and liquid both are away from each other both are independent you can say if solid is melting then whatever liquid or melt is produced it will be uh, uh, it will be uh, dragged away from the remaining solid so they are always uh, in different place so based on this we have two models equilibrium model and fractional model or we can say we have equilibrium crystallization okay and we can have equilibrium melting also and same we can has fractional crystallization and fractional melting okay fractional crystallization and fractional melting now let's see one by one what are these so first we will see about the equilibrium melting so it is simply a uh, uh, melting is happening when melt when the produced melt and the solid rock both are in contact they are not separated so here one formula is there uh, i will write with blue color that is cl by co is equal to 1 by di 1 minus f plus f so this describes the concentration of element in this equilibrium melting so what are these cl stands for the concentration of element concentration of element in liquid and co describes the concentration of element in original rock or you can say solid okay while the di is your distribution coefficient Okay. Distribution coefficient you uh, may also known is as the uh, partition coefficient. So distribution coefficient and partition coefficient both are same. Then you have F. F stands for the uh, fractional melting. Okay, or you can say weight fractional weight fraction of melt. that is produced okay so you know the concentration of liquid concentration of original rock distribution coefficient is a fixed value for each element like uh, nickel has a particular uh, value and uh, zircon has a particular value so they all have their particular distribution coefficient value which can be obtained by uh, various other means then 
F F is calculated based on a formula that is F is equal to melt produced. Okay, melt produced divided by solid plus melt. Okay. Now, if you will see, like uh, melting happened 30%, so you can say melt produced is 0.3, and solid plus melt will be equal to 1. Okay, so it F value of F will be 0.3. So this is how numericals can be created. So they will give you either Cl or Co, and ask the other one. Distribution coefficient will be given, and your fractional melting can be given. Also, uh, any three of them may be given, and they will ask you about the fourth one. So in CSIR net, these questions are asked on four marks basis. In GATE, this question uh, frequently asked with one marks. It is straightforward, easy calculation. If a little bit complicated, then it can also be asked in two marks. Then another equilibrium thing is the equilibrium crystallization. Okay. That is equilibrium crystallization. So for equilibrium crystallization, formula is same, okay, as this one. Formula is same. The only thing which changes is your formula of F. Here F will be your uh, remaining melt, okay. Melt remaining divided by solid plus melt. Okay, let's say uh, if we are talking about the equilibrium crystallization, when your uh, remaining melt is 40%, then it will be value of F will be 0.4. They can also say it in opposite way, like 30% uh, crystal is produced. Okay. Then what will be melt? The melt will be 70%. Okay, then value of F will be 0.7. So they can ask in uh, a different way. So to make it a little bit tricky or little bit complicated. Okay, so this is about the equilibrium melting and equilibrium crystallization. Now we will go with the fractional and fractional crystallization. So let us see the crystallization first. Okay, so fractional. Crystallization. Okay, so fractional, as I have already told, or you must be knowing that uh, fractional crystallization means the melt is continuously cooling and crystals are being formed. So once the melt has been cooled, one crystal is formed, then this crystal will be detached away. Another crystal is cooled, that is also detached away. So they are not in continuous interaction with each other. So this is the case of fractional crystallization. So uh, fractional have their own different formula. So let me write the chemical formula. It has the concentration of liquid to concentration of original solid and uh, is equal to F. F you already know the weight fraction of melt and F to the power of Di minus 1. Okay. So now you will know uh, Cl is the concentration of element in the residual liquid, whatever liquid has uh, remained there. Concentration of element in remaining liquid. Okay. Then CO is the original concent concentration. Okay. Original concentration means the original liquid, whatever concentration was there. Original concentration in liquid. Okay. That's why we are not writing it as S. Okay. Because S means solid. So we are not talking about solid. We are talking about the original. So concentration in original liquid. And the F is uh, simply uh, formula remaining same. In the melt remaining divided by solid plus melt or crystal plus melt you can say and di is the distribution coefficient
distribution coefficient. So this was about the fractional crystallization. Now fractional melting had different formula. Okay, the equilibrium melting and crystallization have same formula, but in case of fractional melting and crystallization, they have a different formula. So let's see about the fractional melting. It can also we also call it as the relay fractional melting. R E R R A Y L E F G relay fractional melting. Okay, so simply same condition. You have solid. Whatever uh, liquid is produced with the solid, it will be dragged away. Another uh, uh, liquid will be produced. It will be dragged away. So solid and liquid will not be in contact. Okay, so they are separated, and the formula here is uh, Cl, that is concentration in liquid, to the concentration of original, or in this case it is solid. Original original substance is solid. Uh, so Cl by Co is equal to one by Di, that is distribution coefficient, one minus f to the power one by Di. Minus one. So this formula is a little bit complicated, but you have to learn because you have to pass exams, so you have to learn. So you know uh, value of Cl, Co, Di, and Df. So any three will be given, and they will ask you about the fourth one. So simply the F here will be calculated. The fractional melt produced melt. That is produced divided by solid plus melt. Okay, so simply here also they can ask any two of them. They can say the crystal produced is 40%, then melt will be 60%. If melt is 30%, then crystal will be 70%. So you can now easily calculate the uh, value of x f. So this was all the melting and crystallization of yes. One more thing is the equilibrium melting. Okay, equilibrium equilibrium melting is also known as your batch melting. Sometimes in exam they also ask that consider there is a batch melting going on. So you have to understand that batch melting is nothing but The equilibrium melting. So it's all about for today. Uh, I hope you got this point. You got about the melting and crystallization of rock. If let's say it is coming in your GSI mains, so you can also write all of these things like uh, what is what is fractional melting and crystallization, what is equilibrium melting and crystallization, and their associated formulas. Okay, so all of these you can write. So it's all about for today. We'll see you in next video. Thank you. Uh, one more thing, you can also uh, go to our website. We have created a website. Uh, let me erase this one. Okay. So we have a website that is Open Geology. Open Geology dot in. You can go there. There are Various MCQs, free MCQs for geology. Okay, almost around 34 MCQs are there. There are also MCQs for climatology. Okay, and we are also we are continuously working to make them more MCQs. Okay, they are free, no cost, nothing. You also you only need one thing is to register yourself into the website, and these MCQs will be accessible. You can also get uh, many geology articles. Okay, we are also continuously improving the number of articles, which covering the different different topics. Okay, and many more things also. Thank you.